Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a direct link to a file in your Dropbox account. So this is my folder, Dropbox folder, and uh, I have these mp3 files in it. And if I want a direct link to this file, for example, uh, you have to share, go to share. then copy the link and this is a link right here there's one thing you need to do before you can use the link though so uh, let me paste the link I just copied notice at the end it says zero change that to one then you can use this link as a direct link with a direct link like this you can do things like okay, let me copy this this is my blog post and uh, I created the audio player here with the the direct link just we we just create I just created the audio player like this can access the audio file I revised like that this is what I did to create this so I used a plugin to create an audio player and uh, insert the the audio file from the URL I just copied I'm pasting it notice this it says one at the end all right voila so this is audio player that plays the mp3 file I just uh, no I just copied I revise. the question is what happened if I don't use the in a modified URL so if I go to the audio plugin again and try to insert the audio file by using the URL, but the original URL with the zero at the end, what would happen? So I'm going to paste it. This plugin or audio player cannot access the audio file. So when it's zero, DL means download. When a download equals to zero, that means you know you can't download. A, a download is not allowed. Meaning the uh, it doesn't function as a direct link. So you have to make it one. Then this link will be just like the regular, uh, you know, uh, URL to the file like this. But with the uh, Dropbox, you have to use this. So that's all there is to it. 